Compare and order rational numbers. So as a reminder, in the number line, it goes from least to greatest. Zero is in the center of this number line. The positive rational numbers are to the right. The negative rational numbers are to the left. Rational numbers are any numbers that can be written as in fraction form, such as a whole number, a, an integer. So let's look at our first example. We have find the equivalent decimal and plot on the number line. We have 7 20th. So can we find an equivalent decimal to this? So taking out my pen, um, there's two ways you can do this. Um, some of you may prefer the multiples of 10 or 100. So let's try this one because we know the hundreds place. Can 20 go into the hundreds place times 5 times 5? So it can be represented as 35 hundreds. Or some of you may prefer dividing it. You have 7 that's divided into 20. You have 7 parts divided into 20 whole. So 7 divided into 20 groups. Can 20 go in 7? No, 0 times. If I subtract this, I get 7. How do I write 7 without changing its value? 7.0. I bring it down. How many groups of 20 go into 73 groups? So that's 60. 70 minus 60 is 10. Have another 0. Bring it down. How many groups of 20 go into 100? Five groups. And so there is our 35 hundreds. So uh, so we know the 720 is equivalent to 35 hundreds. So 35 hundreds would go somewhere right here. 720 is equivalent to... 3,500. Do you know what one half is equivalent to? 50 hundreds or 5 tenths. Um, so let's look at another example. Uh, we have, let's look at this example. Negative 4, 11. Can 11 go into a hundreds place? It cannot. So we will have to divide this. So it's 4 divided by 11. Can 11 go into 4? Zero times. And then I put a point zero without changing its value. I bring the zero down. How many groups of 11 go into 40? Three groups. That's 33. So 40 minus 33 is 7. And our zero, I bring it down. How many groups of 11 go into 70? Six groups. 70 minus 66 is 4. And this will be a repeating decimal. So what we'll repeat will be the 36. So that would be negative 36. Neg hundreds. Repeating. So negative. Um, where's my pen? So that would be. Oh, negative half is negative 50 hundreds as a decimal. So negative 36, so we're counting negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, hundreds, negative 500, negative, so it'll be right here. Negative 36 hundreds, repeating right there. So you're counting things. So this goes from least to greatest. So negative one half is the least, then negative 36 hundreds, then zero, 3500, 50 hundreds. Or negative one half, negative 411, zero, 7 20th, and one half. So you can tell it's going from least to greatest. So draw a number line if, if you need to. A number line does help you position the fraction.